Good afternoon reception. Today we are going to be playing a really fun addition and subtraction game using a double deck of red bus, people who get on and off of the bus and a dice. Now we can get this game from Twinkle and we can print it off and it's really, really easy to play. So I'm going to show you how we're going to do that. First of all, we're going to roll the dice. What number do we have? One, two, three. Well done, we have three spots on the dice. That means we need to put three people onto our bus. Count with me. One. Two. Three people. Now, we're going to pretend the bus is driving and it's going to go to the next stop. And then we're going to roll the dice again. And this time, we're going to be adding on the amount of people according to the number on the dice. What number do we have, reception? One, two. So we need to add another two people to our bus. But this time, we're going to add them to the bottom deck. One, two. Can you tell me what our number sentence would be? How many people did we start with at the beginning? One, two, three people, well done. And we're plusing because we gained more people at the next stop, so we're going to plus how many people got on at the second stop? One, two, excellent. Two people got on at the second stop. And what do we put at the end of our number sentence? An equal sign. Okay, so our number sentence is three plus two equals something. Three people plus two people equals how many people? So we're going to count them all together. One, two, three, four, five. So our answer will be five. We can also do this using a number line. So we'd start with the first number, which is number three. And we're going to do two bunny hops because we're plusing two. One, two. And we land on five. We get the same answer. Well done. Okay, let's try again. How many do we have? One, well done. So we're going to take one passenger and put them at the top, on the top deck. And we're going to roll our dice again. What number have we got? This time we have one, two, three, four passengers getting on our bus at the second stop reception. So we're going to add four people to the bottom deck. One, two, three and four so we now have one two three four five people on our bus reception so to write our number sentence we'll start with number one and we're going to plus one two three four people Okay, and what do we put at the end of our number sentence? Equal sign, well done. Now, although it says one plus four, we might find it easier to start on the bigger number so we have less bunny hops to do. So we'll start on number four. And how many bunny hops will we need to do? If we start with four, then we'll need to do one bunny hop and our number will get bigger. We'll land on number five. So there are now five passengers on our bus. If we started at number one, we would do four hops. One, two, three, four, and we would still land on number five. But it's always easier to add a smaller number to a bigger number. Now, let's try the same, but with take away. I'm going to start with one, two, 
three, four, five, six people on our bus. Let's double check. One, two, three, four, five, six people on our bus. Now, some people are going to get off our bus at the second stop. We're going to roll our dice to see how many people are going to get off of the bus. What number do we have? One, two, three. Three people are going to get off our bus. How many people do we have on the bus at the moment? One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six people. Now, if we're going to take away, do you remember how to do the take away sign? Yes. I'm going to show you. Take away. And we had three people get off our bus. So six, take away, three. We always have an equal sign at the, at the end. So six people, take away three people, okay? So we'll start at number six. And how many bunny hops will we do backwards to make the number get smaller because we're taking away? Well done, three. So we start at six and three hops backwards, one, two, three. What number have we landed on? Number three, well done. So six take away three equals three. Now, if we have six people on our bus at the top and we take away three, one, two, three, we also get the same answer, okay? There's three people left on our bus. We'll try that one more time. This time, we're going to get a bigger number. We're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people on our bus. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people on our bus. Let's see how many are going to get off at the next stop. That's a lot of people to get off the bus. That's six people need to get off the bus at the next stop. So how would we first of all write our number sentence? How many did we start with? Well done, we started with seven. And we're taken away, because some people are getting off of the bus, which means we need to go this way on the number line. The number needs to get smaller. So we're going to take away six people. We always end with an equal sign. So. We're starting at number seven. And how many steps backwards are we going to take? Six, excellent. One, two, three, four, five, six. What number have we landed on? Number one. So seven, take away six, equals one. Okay, reception, so this game is really easy to get. And you can ask your mummies or daddies or whoever looks after you at home to see if they can print this off for you. And you can play the addition and subtraction bus game at home. Hope you enjoyed it.